Diana from Diana's Dreams and I thought I'd start the video right here at my front door. I'm just on the inside of my apartment. And um yesterday was it yesterday or the day before? I think it was yesterday, not the day before. I promised you all a um tour of my section eight apartment here. I'm in West Palm Beach of Florida, and I am about 20 minutes from my oldest son's home, so um, I'm not alone alone, but I am pretty much alone because he's a jet star. He travels the world with his wife, so they're not always home, but they're, they're available to me. Ooh, my nose is kind of like shiny. They're available to me if I, if I need them for anything now. Here, I've been dealing with some maintenance issues. So, as we do this tour, I'll kind of point them out. I'm really, I don't know, man. Mm. The sun here is uncontrollable. You'll see that when I show you the windows. Um, I just saw three of them. I'm like, hey, I got to grab the Windex. Yep. So, that's what's going to happen. So, here we go. Um... First thing you're going to see is Rico. Ready? Ta-da! There's Rico. I don't know if we can zoom in on this or not. No. See, I'm using a different recorder today, but that's okay. So, as soon as you walk in, in my door, there's this utility closet. And it has a water heater and a HVAC unit can't use the heater been here a year and a half look it's raining out now and the sun is just shining see how the sun is shining but it's pouring down rain i don't know if you can see that it's literally pouring down rain and the sun is shining at the same time like bright <laughs> so cannot complain about here we've we get cooled off in the afternoon, what can I say? So, um, my walker's here, that's what I was sitting on. And I have this like L-shaped desk that I do most of my paperwork and stuff like that on. But in that little box that you see with the flowers, there's a sewing machine in there that um, I pull out from time to time and use right here. And in the window, Rico kind of lays right there and looks for birds and raccoons and things out that window. And um, Rico would be him right there. And these are some pictures I'm painting the frames of. And these are some ring bear pillows. This is what I do. This is some of the stuff that I create. Pardon me. It's on my yoga mat, of all things. But I created these two today. Um, they are beach theme ring bear pillows. I've got to do a little bit of pressing on that one right there. And then this one has the the starfish on it. So I don't know if you can see them. Of course. So I have been making about two a day and I'm putting them on um eBay and Etsy and stuff like that. And I, I mostly create right here. So these are three windows I told you about. I'm looking at them like, yeah, Windex. Need to do that. So this is a TV I bought half a year ago and haven't used yet. Just don't watch TV. Um, I kind of do all of my creating right here and watching your videos um, while I'm creating those that's on the Hope Crew team. And this is where I sleep. <laughs> this is Rico's bed. And this is my bed. But he has a blanket. That white blanket is... um. Is his blanket on my bed and he's only allowed on my bed on his blanket so he knows that so I'm standing like this is the living area and then this is supposed to be like a dining area but it's just me here I do my ironing right there and my kitchen is right here I don't know why it's dark here I can turn the light on I suppose that yeah, doesn't matter um the kitchen now, this is Section 8 in Palm Beach Housing. Um, I won't name where I'm at, though, for my own privacy. It comes with a dishwasher I never use. Um, 
your sink is here. Ah, uh, let's see. I added this shelf that holds a lot of canned goods right here. And they have a lot of, uh, I put my box things in there. Um, I can open the show. <laughs> see? So I put that sort of stuff in here. And then, um, my stove. When I moved in here, this bottom part, I'm going to kick it a little bit. This bottom part right there, um, there were mouses, mouses playing in there. And when I, when I moved in, I noticed that there was a big hole in my range top right here on, on the burner. There was a big rusty hole as big as these two and the, the mice were just crawling all around in them. Um, so I told the maintenance guy, bring me, bring me these new bowls and I would clean the oven. I haven't used the oven, but I cleaned it. I just used the range top. I use that for an oven and every once in a while I'll bring that out, but I've only used it a couple of times. I don't really trust a toaster oven, but I do fix uh, pizza in there once in a while. The refrigerator, um, it's become a recent issue. With the stove, I kind of moved into it, so I only use the oven part to store my um, my pots and pans in that I hardly use. They're working with me today. They came in the department to try to go over the things that I needed to have done here because it's a huge list. But uh, they've been having a high turnover rate of regional managers, property managers, and leasing consultants. So um, it's literally been four regional managers, three property managers, three leasing consultants, and the maintenance guy and his wife and i've only been here a year and a half three days from now so on the 24th so let's go back to me so you can understand that i'm i'm a little bit mm, what happened today if you got this far i'm doing everything i can to to um, get me out of Section 8 housing. And I put myself in it. My kids didn't want me to do that. But I knew it would be okay. And for the most part, it is okay. What I'll do is go back to Palm Beach Housing Authority, if needed, and tell them I need to be relocated from here. But uh, the last regional manager that they hired understands, and he was pretty livid to find out that in a whole other month has gone by and nothing's been done because of uh, laziness on their part, I guess. I don't know, you can not. You can see I'm upset. So, <laughs> I am personally really glad that, I'm sorry, I'm really glad about the whole crew that I, that I found, uh, Do, Do Dash and, um, Dash of Faith, those two channels, past week, I've been, like, watching they're sometimes so much in their videos twice to uh let me let me fix my face i'm gonna show you something else um so i uh i'm gonna finish this tour too <laughs> i had them in here today to uh turn the they, who came in was the new leasing consultant. I just met her, the maintenance guy and, and his his wife. I think there was another person here. 
I have this off. It's 80 in here right now. When I turn the heat on, it literally turns the smoke alarms on. And um, the air has been making Rico and I sick. You just heard him sneeze. And I've been having sinus issues like crazy. So we've, we've come to realize now that the duct work up in here, like I've been saying for a year, there's something dead in there because that's what we all smelled. And the maintenance guy's wife literally went out in the hallway a couple times. She couldn't take it, smelling it, right? But they expect me to. I have not been able to use the heat here in the winter, and I've been here a year and a half. And uh, I know I'm in Palm Beach, Florida. It does get cold here at night. Um, already I'm cold because I, I, uh, I, I wrap myself in these blankets. See, so there's, this is the blanket that I use to, to lay under. There's other blankets under this. So I, I'm, I am staying warm, but. I'm having to use my heat pad to keep my back warm because my spine has been operated on. Um, we're now in what's pretty much my cat's room. I store a fabric that I use to sew with over here. He doesn't bother it at all. It stays pretty well clean. That's my body bag, the pink thing. I put that in the bathtub if we have a hurricane. And this is Rico's little house, castle, and his cat boxes in there. Because he is a boy, man. He likes to spread his poo-poo from one end of the house to the other. So, I have been able to contain it this way. You know, and he doesn't do that no more. And he doesn't even use that little door you see in the front of his little box. He hops in and out. So... That's always been an issue. And this rug, it's actually, uh, I think it's a Christmas tree skirt or something. But, uh, or a table. I bought it at a thrift store and I'm like, oh, this is perfect for right in front of his house. So if he has to wipe his butt, he does that on this. I just washed this. So I would rather wash this and let it uh, air dry. Don't put his poop poo or anything like that in the uh, dryer, of course. Um... But I would rather wash it and let me turn back this a ways. Yay, here I am again. And look, I feel better. I'm okay. I know that I go through, <laughs> but I go through. You know, I get to the other side and I know that there's joy that, that the Lord is teaching me some things, you know, along the way. And it's gotten me stronger. I literally roar today at people, and um, I don't, um, that's not me, I'm a mouse, I'm a nerd, I'm timid, so uh, I think that they understand now, but I've been literally a year and a half now breathing, I don't even know what, and the fridge is a recent thing I've discovered that Insects are getting in the trim that goes around the door of the refrigerator down at the bottom hinge and that area where the seal goes around the door. It is corroded. I guess that's a, a good word for it. What happened is, is the inspectors, the in exterminators, sorry, inspectors, yeah, there's that too. The exterminators are supposed to come every month. They don't always come every month. But when they do, and they spray the refrigerator side doors and hinge and they don't care what they're hitting with their their um stuff that comes out of their little hose thing, you know, the the, the bug spray. So I've always told them to keep their the nozzle to the floor 
you know, don't, but I can show you the fridge. Let's show you the fridge. I'm going to turn it back around and show you what I mean. <clears throat> I'm going to have to turn the light on. It's a little bit dark in here now. Can you see that? You see how rusty it is there? You see the rust on the side of the fridge because the exterminator has been spraying. And right here, I don't know if you can see it, right there is where the bugs have been getting in. And they're literally residing. They're literally where I sprayed here like crazy. Sorry, but I know you see what I see. Oh. Let me tell you, I found moths. And I found no seam bugs, and I found regular fly, and I found um, the roach. And I don't do any of those bugs. I keep a clean place, and I'm very upset that I had to be put under anesthesia and have an endoscopy done twice for a bacteria stomach infection. <laughs> And now I know what's been making me sick is this refrigerator. I'm gonna turn the, turn it around a minute. Just to, for reference you can see this side too that they they trash. They just spray their and oh exterminating spray right on the fridge and this is what they've done to a perfectly good machine, the exterminators. So I, I told the, the property manager why. What they did last month, no exterminator. They didn't come at all. So let's go. And I love this place. I love this apartment. I've been fighting for it since day one. We're in the hallway now. And this is um my washer and dryer. Not my washer and dryer, it's their washer and dryer. However, they charge me $45 a month besides my rent payment for this washer and dryer. And I don't even get to keep them. No, they get $45 a month and I don't even get to keep them. And I don't get to say, I don't even get to say, take them out of here. I'll um give you my own. You can see that I can open this door very easily, right? This one, I have to, and then it gets stuck down the bottom there, right? So I have to use my left hand and do that. I know. So yeah, what I did when I when I um did my recertification for HUD to see if I'm still eligible to be here, of course. This is a bathroom and there's really nothing going on wrong here or anything like that. I'm not looking for wrong, I'm looking for right. <laughs> so when I when I put in for um, my recertification, I asked HUD, could they add the washer and dryer to my rent payment? Turning you back around. And could they, could they put the washer and dryer in my rent payment? And could they create an addendum that says that the um, landlord can't charge the additional 45 hours a month fee for the washer and dryer? Because... The more I pay in rent, the more I'm eligible for other things. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, I am on SSI, and I am getting $77 for a chance now. However, I'm not worried about that uh, because I'm about to be doing my remote work along with selling the um, bridal accessories and I'm in retraining for that, and that finishes this Thursday, and that job brings me in $30 an hour, and I'm 
I used to do it. They've changed their platform, so I had to relearn the, the platform is the only thing. But it's basically selling hotel and motel rooms to people online. Um, easy work. E easy, easy, easy. And that'll get me out of here. How did I get here? The bottom line is, um, in 2014, my second husband of almost two decades passed away in my arms of heart failure and diabetes. I was also taking care of my youngest daughter's children, three of them. And they were all born addicted to... Uh, whatever she was addicted to. And I didn't get it the first time. And my husband and I raised that boy as if he was our own because she didn't want him because he was biracial. When he was about three years old, she had a change of heart and another kid. But at that time, um, social social services was involved, and I was their guardian. And then she had another one eleven months later, and I couldn't do all three children. And I was uh, wait a minute. I was running a sewing business in our home altering wedding gowns for a living, prom dresses, and working for the fire department, hemming hundreds and hundreds of pants, various lengths. And uh, I was doing really good financially, but my daughter was ripping me blind uh, because of her, her issues. And, you know, we all have skeletons in her closet, but she's still at it. And there's a fourth baby that she was pregnant with when I left her and decided to move to Delaware with a man I barely knew and marry him. And that was wrong of me to do that. I didn't give myself time to heal. Um, my husband passing away and what my daughter was putting me through Sorry, I don't want you to see me wiping my nose. And uh, it's, it's been a lot I've been through. So I, I left that man after 12 surgeries in less than five years because he caused that motorcycle accident. And then I got cancer on top of that, uh, colon cancer. But I'm, a, I'm okay now. They took out parts and um, living with how it is now. I don't want to get too much into that, but I'm okay. Uh, yeah, they're finding other gross other places, but I'm all right. Uh, we're dealing with it a little bit at a time. Uh, however, my doctors, I have an appointment with them this is it th Thursday. I think it is Thursday morning. And they know what's going on here now, and uh, I have to report to them what happened with the, when we turned the heat on here, I, I made them stay, and I said, no, we're going to turn the heat on, you're going to see what I see. And uh, they saw my cat running around like crazy, couldn't take it, and the maintenance guy, his wife was with him, she kept going out in the hallway, she couldn't breathe it either. And I'm standing there and I'm breathing it in and the new leasing consultant's breathing it in and then two smoke alarms go off. It's, it's something in the ducts of where I'm living at that when I turn the heat on, it makes the smoke alarms go off and there is a smoke. So there's something that is dead inside my HVAC system. I used to clean that for a living. I used to do that sort of work. 
and install electronics and things like that into. So I, I, I know that that system needs to be cleaned every three to five years. And I also know it's never been cleaned because you can tell if the vent covers have been removed. And I also know that this building is 12 years old, so it's never been cleaned in 12 years. And I'm underneath of an attic and I'm on the corner unit. And there are critters crawling up there that I hear. Big lizard like critters. So, but we're in Florida. <laughs> I'm talking lizards that are like almost two feet long are here. So, they crawl all the way up to the roof. We've seen them all the way up there. And, and there's, there's raccoons here. There's, it's a very high, uh, amount there's a, there's a lot of raccoons here there are also um a lot of feral cats here but the people that live here are taking care of the cats um i was north and i was pretty happy and then i made a mistake and got married to the wrong man instead of um, allowing myself to heal like i'm doing now and i'm not that happy here Get out of sex day. Thanks. Bye, y'all.